what is shale gas mining? Hi there. Uh, shale gas, gas essentially is a natural gas um, that is very rich in organic materials. Uh, it's, it's found deep and is formed by a process whereby high heat and pressure uh, essentially forces it from a petroleum into a natural gas. Uh, it's considered a, a, an unconventional uh, natural gas. Okay, the potential in South Africa, I mean, in America, it said that projects currently underway to provide natural gas sees this providing gas for the next 100 years. Are we at that point in South Africa? It's uh, unfortunately too early to, to reach an accurate estimate of, of what is essentially down there. Uh, pilot projects do need to be conducted to estimate the scope of the project. Um, however, yes, it can f uh, play a significant part in South Africa's energy mix going forward. Okay, but there are some issues, obviously, because in the prospecting right now, we're dealing with issues around mineral rights and the landowners, how they're going to be compensated for some of this exploration activity. In terms of some of these issues impacting on investment, will they? Um, in terms of, of the mineral rights issue, um, it is indeed a very tricky issue. And with South Africa's impending energy crisis, uh, it's something that comes to the table rather quickly. Uh, South Africa's energy conundrum does place us in a situation where we need to find uh, sources of sustainable energy going forward. And um, shale gas is indeed a candidate, much like renewable energy, uh, in order to find a, a less carbon emitting uh, source of energy. What sort of companies are active in this space? The names such as Shell and Sassol keep on coming to the fore, so it's effectively the preserve of these giants? Exactly, and uh, Falcon as well, uh, Halliburton and, and the like. Okay, the investment model, please tell us more, Dominic, in terms of what needs to go into the exploration, building the infrastructure and effectively, the, uh, essentially, the extraction? Um, essentially, the extraction process is formed by hydraulic fracking or fracturing, uh, whereby a well is, draw is, uh, is drawn and water, sand and some chemicals are pumped down that well uh, in order to extract, uh, extract the gas from another well. Um, the issue, however, is uh, some infrastructure questions with regards to the crew. Uh, currently, the roads infrastructure um, is not uh, sufficiently um, adequate to support oil exploration. Uh, there's also a water issue. Um, a comparative oil field in the States uh, consumes as much as three uh, to five billion gallons um, of water, essentially. So it's, it's resource uh, allocation to see if that we have a, a significant amount of that as well, uh, which pose some of the issues. Dominic, obviously South Africa, Copenhagen, has pledged to reduce its uh, carbon emissions by over 30% by the year 2020. So in our pursuit for cleaner energy, would natural gas support that? It would indeed. Um, natural gas does not emit the same levels of carbon uh, or greenhouse gases uh, as does coal. And uh, South Africa, as, a, as quite a polluting nation, does need to move away from coal and, uh, and from dirty energy, so to speak, towards more renewable energy forces. Uh, natural gas could potentially be uh, an aspect of that uh, in line with renewable energy. However, this is also balanced out with the environmental uh, damages that this could also play a part in. So moving forward, we'd have to be very assured of, of a safe process of extraction and mitigating the environmental impact as well. Okay, so what should regulators do very briefly because those byproducts and environmental risks you refer to have a lot to do with the potential for groundwater pollution and other such uh, negativities? Right. Uh, it's very important that South Africa looks to global standards, particularly in the States, uh, to see best practices internationally uh, with how best to, uh, to secure the, the, water, the water levels and water levels of, of uh, of preparing against contamination and the like, particularly with water management and, and wastewater issues as well. Um, if that uh, does seep out into the groundwater table, that could have significant harmful effects to the economy, uh, to the environment uh, for decades to come, not just years.